Today is Thursday, August 25th, um, and it's my week 12. Last week, I weighed in at 257.1. This week, I am 253.2, so that so this week's loss is a 3.9 pound loss. And overall loss of 52.4, so I made it over 50 pounds. Yay! Um, my next week's goal, which I hope to meet, is... 3.3 pounds because that would put me at 99.9 more pounds to lose till I hit 150. So I really want to be under 150. Um, yeah. Wait. I, I really want to be under 100. <laughs> um, I had a fill uh, yesterday and it was actually a pleasant experience. In the waiting room, I met a woman that had lost 116 pounds, and she was so nice, and she was telling me, like, oh, what have you tried? Um, what kind of foods have you tried? Because she has a really big problem eating um, eggs, and I'm like, oh, no, eggs go down fine. I think anything goes down. I haven't tried a food that doesn't go down that well, um, if not too properly. Oh, sorry, I'm burping. <laughs> sorry. Um, and the male nurse that's really hot there actually was nice this time. He's usually very, like, reserved and, like, cold and just waves you and takes your blood pressure and et cetera. But this time he's, like, more, you know, I don't know. Um, so he weighed me and he said that I had only lost seven pounds since the last time I was there, which was true sorry i have like this light thing see wait is it better yeah okay so um so he weighed me in and he said i only lost seven pounds um but you know i hadn't had much sleep the night before i, I kept waking up and having like weird nightmares and um, so I only slept for about four hours because I had to wake up at five, to leave at six, to get there at seven. Um, and so my scale here at home is exactly the same as the one in the at the doctor's office. So um, there is no confusion there. But you know when you don't sleep much, you kind of you kind of have to sleep a little bit more in order to see a, a loss you know so I was kind of pissed off and annoyed but I was like whatever this isn't real <laughs> um and also my blood pressure was very low and he's like are you like do you usually have low blood pressure and I said no I usually have high blood pressure so it was kind of weird um and then he's like good job Miss Cindy and I was confused not confused but kind of like feeling like I didn't deserve the good job because I don't think I had worked at full capacity this month I don't know whatever you know I'm all, like I said I'm always like the hardest person on myself whatever um this is not making any sense anyway um my uh, weight loss clinic whatever um they expect you to lose 48 pounds each month so I guess it would be a good job or whatever. Um, so then later on they took a x-ray or, yeah, I guess x-ray, right? Yeah, it was an ultrasound. X-ray of my belly and my band. And it was cool to look at it. It was pretty cool. <laughs> um, and this time a different nurse practitioner did my... Um, my fill so she was I asked her immediately when I saw her um, please numb me and she she asked me why didn't they numb you before they're supposed to numb you and I was like I don't know maybe she forgot but seriously the last time it felt like I had been punched in the gut and then a knife had been wiggling around there and it was not cool not pleasant at all um so after my fill, I felt um, pretty weird. Um, I have 1.5 cc's in my band now, so this past fill was a 0.55 fill, um, 
0.5 cc fill. Um, so, uh, I felt weird, like, tight, extra tight, maybe? Um, like, if I had just been three days post-op or, post or so, um, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't a bad feeling. I could get liquid sound easily, and I haven't tried to eat anything else because I'm trying to follow the post-fill directions to a T because I didn't do it last time, and I felt like I did have to do it this time, and I do have to every other time. Um, so every time I had a shake yesterday, I felt, like, really, really full, cool, like, uh um, anyway, so this week, I don't know, I feel like I've been on an emotional roller co coaster. Um, I felt really happy most of the week, but then there was like times, I guess it's because my period is here, and so TMI, whatever, whatever, this is normal now. Um, <laughs> um, so whenever I, I get my time of the month, I get really emotional. So, not angry or anything like that, but sad. Um, so anyway, I, I, the whole week I've been thinking about um, how my weight has set me back in the past, and especially in social situations. Um, like if a friend invites me to a bar and um, I've never been to this bar, I don't want to go because I'm scared that they might not let me in. Because it's happened to me twice. Um, one time in Mexico, which I guess shouldn't count because it's in Mexico, and one time here in Houston, and, um, it was kind of like a blow to my ego and my self-esteem, um, and also, my weight has also held me back from being, you know, friendly, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm such an outgoing person, um, but I don't really talk to people because, you know, it's kind of like, uh, oh, she's fat, I don't know if I want to talk to her. <laughs> and I'm not the, um, I don't know, whatever. And then I was also thinking about exercise, that I can't exercise. And I know that I talked about this before, how I was really frustrated that I couldn't exercise. And so on Friday, I decided to walk, right? And my foot ended up looking like the size of a chipotle burrito that's what it looked like it was so swollen and never again actually i did it yesterday because <laughs> i went to class and i was like i don't want to wear sneakers i don't know how to wear sneakers except with exercise clothes and i don't own many of those and usually i think that unless they're like really cool like those nike shirts and stuff which i can't fit into yet um, I don't wear sneakers, no, 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 <laughs> um, but yeah, and then on Tuesday, I went to visit my grandma, and she asked me, well, at what weight do you think you're gonna stop, and it was kind of like an annoying type of, um, question, like annoyed, like she asked it in that tone, like, when are you gonna stop losing weight? And I didn't give her a number. I didn't throw a number out there because I knew that if I did throw a number out there, she would freak out. Um, my mom is five, five feet tall, like even, five feet tall, even. And um, when she lost a lot of weight to from 190 to... 140, all of her sisters and my grandma and everybody in the family was telling her she looks sickly. And my, um, my goal is 150, and I'm 5'7". So, would I look sickly? That's what she would say. She would be like, that's crazy, you're going to look crazy. Um, but that's why I didn't want to throw a number out there, so I just told her I want to fit into regular clothing, which is what I want to do. I want to fit into regular clothing. Um, and then she asked me, well, how did you lose this weight? And I keep on saying, oh, I count calories and stuff like that. So she asked me to help her lose weight, which is, which I guess is okay because she doesn't like have to follow the lap band rules. Of course not. 
Um, but a lot of the Latin rules do apply to regular weight loss. Um, and I know that now I don't, I have, now I don't eat crap. I eat very, um, I guess, healthy foods and I don't take a chip or a this or that and um, I feel good about myself and I think this is burning. No. <laughs> um, and I drink a lot of water but then again I felt kind of like a fraud telling her all of this like um, but it's true like I told her because of course we're Hispanic we eat a lot, a lot of tortillas and two sometimes like the, the ones in my fridge that are for my parents they are oops, they are 110 calories for two um so they don't only eat two they eat eight or ten or whatever literally seriously um so imagine that's 400 plus calories 500 plus calories um, and then when I told her that, she's like, oh my god, you're right, it's true. <laughs> so, I, I was, um, I always get these emails from, um, from Beachbody, because I have insanity, which I wish I could do, but I can't. Um, and they were, they, they send, like, healthy tips, whatever the hell. And they were saying, oh, it's frozen yogurt really healthy. And they were saying that it had um, such and such uh, amounts of calories, but that it had sugar and whatever, whatever. So then they were like, the article said, why don't you make your own frozen yogurt? So I was like, yes, I want to make my own frozen yogurt. And they said to blend um, frozen fruit with plain yogurt so what I did is um, I mixed I will I blended the yogurt with frozen strawberries and then added half of half a scoop of vanilla not vanilla um, banana protein powder for extra protein and also um, a teaspoon, not a teaspoon, a tablespoon of Tarani vanilla and I came out with this which already melted because if you if you're in Texas you know that we've had 110, 104 weather for about um, for about three weeks now um, it is insane it is like hell outside anyway but it tastes pretty good, and so it has the protein from the protein from the Greek yogurt, and then protein from the half a scoop, and yeah, sugar free, I guess, right? Yeah, <laughs> I guess maybe I don't know. I didn't check the protein powder. Maybe that had sugar, but it was a really good alternative to going to Pinkberry or there's no Pinkberry here, whatever. But there's a berry pop here and. Manchies and orange leaf, whatever. But yeah, so looking forward to my 3.3 pound loss next week, and so looking forward to Michelle, Michelle the Bandit coming back from Iceland, because you know I can't live without her, my accountability partner. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>